What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, who never knows best. Bring me some more Dragon Ball Fighters, and your boy is finally back. Look, I know that's the biggest, longest break I've taken on YouTube since I actually started my grind, which was a non stop one at the very beginning of 2020. January 1st, 2020, I sat down and decided I wanted to do YouTube full time and take it seriously, and I uploaded every single day for over a year. And then eventually the streak broke at some point. I took a, a you know a day or two off here or there, but your boy is finally back from his little mini vacation. Oh, I mean, it felt like a long vacation, but I, I had a great time. I, I really enjoyed myself. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling recharged. And your boy's ready to get back into things. We have a lot to talk about and a lot of things to get through, and I just need a little bit of time to like kind of like settle back into the old saddle or whatever. So this video in particular for the gameplay, I mean, I'm talking and playing at the same time like I usually do. Um, you know, I, I do favor a lot of commentary. I don't know why I Z channel. They're like, that. Just, nah, I should have just kept it in. But regardless, um, just some little casual matches where I kind of just talk with you guys about some things and, uh, you know, just let you guys know that your boy's back, I'm feeling good, ready to play some more Dragon Ball, ready to play some other things as well. Um, but where do I even start, man? Okay, so first and foremost, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys continue to give me. And uh, for all the people who tell me how much they were missing my videos while I was gone. And oh my god, this guy is kind of going nuts, I mean. Um, thank you so much for all the love and support and everybody telling me how much they missed the, I'm, I'm thinking, how much they missed the videos how, and then uh, when I talked about on Twitter how I was taking a vacation and when I made the YouTube community post we were talking about hey man you earned it you deserve it take as much time as you need we're, we're anxiously waiting for you to come back you know we'll be we'll be right here when you get back can't wait for more content etc etc um, I, I do greatly greatly appreciate that and can't thank you guys for that um, enough it, it, as if you've been following me you know how hard it is for me to take those breaks and to like take time to myself because not only do I love what I do but I have turned into a bit of a workaholic and um you know I've gotten a lot better uh, over these like last six months or so at taking that time off and uh, and treating myself to, to a little bit of rest and relaxation and that's definitely what I did so I am back from that vacation that I took I had a great time for those of you who are wondering as to where I went and what I did you know we gotta know too much I did go to Disneyland though and that was a lot of fun and I had an incredible time um but uh <laughs> yeah that's, that's that's on a need to know basis beyond that um but uh yeah man like i i'm glad to be back i do feel refreshed i do feel recharged i'm feeling rejuvenated and uh man dragon ball fighters so i guess we can start talking about some of the news and information not that we have a whole lot of it but um well as you guys probably all know by now uh, Lab Coat Android 21 is a brand new character that is coming to Dragon Ball Fighters uh, in just a couple of days now. Today is the 20th uh, as this video is being recorded and she's actually releasing, or no, today's the 21st as this is being recorded and she's actually releasing on the 24th. How they somehow managed to miss the opportunity to release Android 21 on the 21st despite all the Android 21 memes she has built into her kit with the 21% damage buffs and nerfs and 21-21 damage on her super and things like that is beyond me. Also, this guy is swinging the like, oh my, oh my, oh my god, bro. Relax. You gonna see oh, he definitely seemed like the type to super dash there. I, I was very wrong though. Um, but yeah, 21 releases. Now, there was just a Dragon Ball Battle Games Hour showcase stream where it talked a lot about all Dragon Ball games, not just Dragon Ball Fighters, but Dokkan, Legends, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, and pretty much everything in between. If there's anything else I'm forgetting, well, you already know that was there. As well as they talked about the new Dragon Ball Super Superhero oh, my combo movie uh, that is releasing this summer. Uh, North America. I believe it's actually releasing in, what was it, April? Um, yeah, I believe it's releasing in April in Japan and this summer in North America, and then other dates for other countries will be released in the future. But, um, yeah, oh, he don't want no smoke. He didn't want any smoke. Um, but yeah, during that showcase, they talked about Android 21, and a lot of us had hopes for other announcements, whether it be a patch, whether it be more DLC, whether it be another season of the game, and, well, I'll be right back, and we can talk a bit more about that, because as you guys know, some hopes were dashed. Some some dreams were crushed. So we'll we'll be right back with more of that once I find my next match. And here we are with that match and another Gohan player at that. At 18 Oh wait, this is the team I play sometime. Well, not those assists, because you ain't gonna catch me playing no C assists unless it's for a challenge video or something, or I lost a bet. But yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, so a lot of people had their hopes up for a new season of the game, a balanced patch, more characters, etc., etc. And I'll be honest with you guys, I, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about it for a while now. Hey, Lotus, do you think it's going to be a sequel to the game? Do you think it's going to be a season four? Now, depending on who you ask, some people would say we're already in season four. I personally have been of the belief and the mindset this is still season three because there's never been a new official announcement. Uh, there's never been a, an announcement of a new official season. Um, some people still call this season four or season 3.5. I like, if anything, I would call it season 3.5. I don't consider this version of the game season four. Um, but yeah, some people were hoping for like an official season four. Um, and for the, the longest time, 
Hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, people were asking me, what do you think is going to happen? Will we get a new season? Will there be more DLC? What do you want? What are you hoping for? And if I'm just being completely honest, I did not expect to see a balance patch or a new season of the game come out of this event. Was I hoping for it? Of course. I love this game to death. I want to keep playing it. I want to keep be, uh, being supported. I want everybody else to keep playing it and enjoying it. And what better way to do that than to continue to give it support with more content, more updates, and everything of that nature. And they've talked before in the past about how they want to keep powering the game up so that Dragon Ball fans can continue to enjoy it, support it, and play it. Um, but I just, I'm of the... Um, I wouldn't say I'm a pessimist. Definitely not that, right? Because I'll stay open-minded and I'll still hope for the best. But I always keep my expectations low uh, when it comes to the things that I love and the things I'm looking forward to because I never want to set myself up for disappointment. So that being said, when we didn't get an announcement of rollback netcode, which we did, which everybody really wants, we didn't get an announcement of a new season of the game, and not even so much as a balance patch, as, as sad as it is to say, it was pretty much to be expected for me. I was not at all uh, surprised by the lack of announcements. All we got at the end of the showcase um, for our big final announcement uh, for Dragon Ball Fighters was the release date for Android 21, which is February uh, 24th. I didn't get my Super Dash there. That's weird. Um, so it, it is disappointing. It is disappointing. I'm not going to lie. But I'll say this. Dragon Ball Fighters is my favorite video game of all time. It is a video game that will always have a special place in my heart. It changed my life. It made me uh, deepen my love for fighting games. And it is honestly something that is, is more than I've ever dreamed of and, and could have hoped, or, or hoped for or wished for, right? That being said, it doesn't mean I have to be complacent or stagnant or satisfied with it as it is because this game can still be better and can still use more, right? Rollback netcode is something that we really want in this game. It's something that would improve it a lot and improve its longevity. Um, but it does not make or break the game for me, right? And we can do our best to continue to make our voices heard. Uh, hope and pray that we get more updates. Um, let me drop that rejump. Well, I didn't drop the rejump per se, but I, whatever. Anyway. Uh, we can continue to try to make our voices heard any way that we can and hope that someday, one day, we get an improved version of the game, right? But I, I will say that I do admittedly feel like a lot of people are being kind of crybabies and kicking and screaming in a very childlike manner uh, online because of their disappointment uh, with the lack of announcements. And uh, don't get me wrong, you are entitled to be upset, you are entitled to be disappointed, disappointed. and I do feel like we do still need to make our voices heard, but seeing people saying that they're quitting the game now or just like talking about how broken 21 is and she's going to need to be nerfed even though she's not even out yet and admittedly she does look very very strong i'm very excited about that character she looks really sick um because quite frankly she looks like a combination of of android 18 and android 21 obviously two of my favorite characters two of my main characters um so it's almost like the character was made for me um and she does seem admittedly very top tier even without having had my hands on her yet i don't want to jump to any conclusions but you know there were a lot of players um, that got their hands on her uh, for the showcase, being Legendary Pred, Nitro, pretty much every single player that was, that was part of the team tournament in that event, in that stream, they had early access to her, they all played her, and they all think she's very strong, and a lot of them are even saying that they're going to end up maining her, try to make her work um, on one of their teams because they think she's just that powerful. But for people to be talking about uh, screaming for nerfs already and talk about how that character is going to make them, you know, drop the game, quit the game, and how bullshit it is, I feel like that's a little much. I feel like people are overreacting a bit, right? Uh, now, I will say when it comes to the fact that we aren't getting a balance patch, well, I'm not surprised because I feel like if there was going to be a balance patch for this game, uh, they would have revealed it during that showcase, during that stream, and not waited until the end of it uh, because they would have gone through it with the notes and everything like they usually do. So when we weren't getting that, I was pretty much always like, I was pretty much already like, okay, it doesn't look like we're actually going to be getting uh, the update people are hoping for. Do I want a balance patch? Of course. Are there some things I'd like to see changed in this game? Of course. Mechanically and when it comes to characters specifically, uh, there might be one or two nerfs I want to see. There might be one or two buffs I want to see. Um, but I don't feel entitled to those things. And I think that's one issue that a lot of players uh, have is that there's always this sense of entitlement that I think people have and to a degree you are entitled to some things because obviously you spent your hard-earned money uh, on this game but I think what people feel entitled to goes beyond what their $60 um, entails in my opinion but again I, I guess I can't also tell you how to feel about how you spent your money right I mean it is your money at the end of the day so what you feel is worth it is completely up to you but it's you know I'm just speaking my own opinion um that being said, another thing I think a lot of people didn't consider and something I've kept in mind is that the uh, the Dragon Ball Fighters uh, World Tour Finals, right, were supposed to take place by now, and they haven't. They got postponed due to, you know, uh, COVID reasons, right? Uh, it hasn't been officially canceled at this point. I think they're still trying to make it happen, um, but it was postponed. And I think another reason why they didn't want to create a patch is because they didn't want to have to run the game 
on the old patch when there's a new patch out, right? Because think about it like this. They release a brand new patch for the game, right? And then the World Finals happen a couple of weeks later, like even like a week or so later. Because I, I don't know what's, what's going on behind closed doors. I don't know how it's working with them trying to still hold the uh, the tournament. I, I, I have no inside information about that. And even if I had it, obviously I wouldn't be able to say it. But I, I genuinely don't know anything about how, how that's going to work. But they release a patch. But then, you know, they it's either you have players play on this a uh, brand new patch that they're not accustomed to and they aren't able to showcase the game and what it's currently like and it's not like good advertisement for the game IMO or you have them play on the old patch which is still bad for the game because it's like well why aren't they doing you know the new stuff why aren't they uh, showcasing what the game is like now you know what I'm saying I feel like either way it's a bad look for the game and for the developers and that's another thing that I think people need to keep in mind and you know, I'm not trying to make too many excuses for them because I do feel like Arc System Works and Bandai Namco should end uh, should be doing better you know i want better they should be doing better but i also can't expect them to um just bend to my will right i can't expect to have everything my way everything exactly the way i want it and i'm trying to find this medium this balance between the two you know somewhere between um being realistic but also having uh better expectations and trying to hold these developers and these publishers to a higher standard um so for me it's like i want there to be a patch but i'm not surprised that there isn't one but i do think that there will be one at some point um, I'd be surprised if the game stays exactly the way it is uh, for forever. Also, this guy's been kind of playing out of control, much like the last player, but he's a little bit better. Um, uh, and I, I do think that if there is going to be a patch, which I think there will be, it'll be either after they figure out when they're able to host the World Tour Finals, or um, after they decide that they just have to cancel it all together. I'm hoping that it doesn't actually get canceled, because I was really looking forward to the event as much as I know like a lot of the players themselves were. But at the end of the day, you know, the world is in the current state that it is, so it just is what it is. You know, you know, there's nothing that any of us can really do about that. So with that being said, um, I, 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 I want to circle back and say that I am disappointed with the lack of announcements or updates, but it was to be expected. I never had my hopes up that high to begin with. And if you tune into the streams, which by the way, if you don't, link is always in the description down below at twitch.tv slash score. You guys know that I've talked a bit about this myself, and I always try to keep my expectations realistic because us as anime fans have been burned plenty of times in the past with getting our hopes up for things and then just being disappointed in the end and i've seen it time and time again and not even just with like games being updated but like i don't know why i did that again I'm just playing too much on autopilot while i talk um with like games being updated or with brand new games coming out or whatever the case may be because let's take let's take you know you know i this is the lesson i already knew but the lesson or hold on, let, me, let me let me slow down a bit so this is a lesson i already knew right but the game that taught me this more than any other and made me like stick to it and realize that this is just how it is, is Jump Force. Because Jump Force is a game that I got the the, uh, the opportunity to play early at E3 back in, what was it, um, 2018? Because Jump Force came out in 2019? Yeah, yeah it, that, that had to be the timeline, right? Whoops. That's supposed to be reflecting on the key last. This guy is very, very, very wild, by the way. Um, I got the chance to play Jump Force early, and my expectations of that game were a lot higher uh, than I would normally allow myself to get because with the build I was playing, I was like, oh yeah, this isn't even the final version of the game. You know, once I polish it up and finish a few things, this game's gonna be sick, right? Well, as you guys know, Jump Force was not that great of a game. I know some of you guys like it. I very much do not. I think Jump Force, if I'm being completely honest, was a very bad game. I, I, I'm i gonna just be sure, but I think that was a fucking garbage video game. So much so to the point where it's actually getting shut down now. You can't even play it online. I don't even think you can purchase it anymore. They completely shut down the servers for it. Um, uh, so it just goes to show you how poorly it performed, right? But I thought that game was gonna end up being so much better. Uh, lo and behold, the game actually did not change at all from the time that I played it until the seven or eight months later that it released. And I, you know, I'm I'm not a I'm not a developer. I I don't I'm not gonna pretend to understand everything. There are certain things I know how it works, and there are some things that I don't understand how it works. But the timeline from when the game was played by me to when it released, uh, it doesn't seem like very much changed at all about it. And well. Like I said, it was a lesson I already knew about getting your hopes up about anime games, but ever since that happened, I've always been of the mindset of keep your expectations low. Keep your expectations low, because I've seen anime fans get hyped up time and time again for games, and then they just weren't what they what they what people were hoping or thought it was going to be. Um, and multiple times with like these streams, like with Dragon Ball Fighters, I've seen people get their hopes up when it comes to buffs and nerfs and certain things being added into the game, and it just never kind of works out the way that people are hoping for. This guy plays way too wild, bro. Um, 
So again, I also want to come back and say that while I'm talking all this and it sounds like I'm defending Bandai and Arxis, I'm not necessarily defending them. I'm more so saying protect yourselves uh, from the disappointment because while we should hold them to a higher, higher standard and we, we want to expect better from them, that's just not always what we get, especially when it comes to Bandai Namco. And um, I have so much love and respect for Bandai Namco, but they've been the cause of a lot of disappointment for a lot of us for a, for a long time now. Um, I feel like there's some more things I want to touch on. I'm talking a million miles an hour. I feel like I'm talking very, very fast. I'm talking and playing at the same time, so my mind is all over the place right now. Um, but yeah, I, I think I got all the major points out of the way. When it comes to Android 21 specifically, I know you guys want to hear me talk about her. People were asking if I was going to do a reaction, whatever, whatever. Well, as you realize by now, I was out of town when all this stuff was going on. I was on the other side of the country. Uh, I was on my vacation. So um, I was not able to stream any of the event and uh, I was not able to record any videos talking about any of this stuff. Um, so, I, but I've, I've, I've seen it all. I saw the matches, I saw the tournament, I saw the breakdown or whatever, I've seen the trailers. So like, since I've already seen it, I can't really react to it because I mean, it's, I, it, it's already happened. Like I already know, you know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't really be much of a reaction. As far as a breakdown or anything like that, I don't know if you guys saw him to do a breakdown. I think at this point, since she just releases in a couple of days anyway, and I'm so late to the party, it's probably better if I just, that's what I did. Why did he win? Uh, it's probably just better off if I just wait for the character release and I play her and talk about her. But I do think she looks like a lot of fun. As I said already, she seems like a very top tier character even without having played her yet. Um, and she seems like a combination of... This nigga is so random. Um, she seems like a combination of Android 18 and Android 21, which are two of my favorite characters, two of my main characters. So I'm very much looking forward to playing her. And I will be playing her a lot. As far as whether or not I'll main her, I always find it interesting that people ask me, yo, are you going to main so-and-so when they release? Because the answer is always, I don't know. She's not out yet. I haven't played her. I don't know if I like her. I'll probably like her. I'll probably play her a lot, right? But I never really know for sure if I'm going to like a character or if I'm going to play them until I play them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I'm going to main her as far as what teams I'll try her on. You guys know I'm, I'm going to try 21 Trunks 21. I'll try 18 Trunks 21. Um, pretty much any of the Android 21 teams I currently play, you can expect me to replace Lab Coat. Uh, you can expect me to replace Majin with Lab Coat, but I'm also going to try playing both 21 together, get that Android 42 shell, because I think playing both 21 together will actually be uh, very strong. Uh, so this is something that I want to try. But um, yeah, I don't know which, will, which one will be my team. I think 21 Trunks 21 is the one I'm most likely to play, but again, won't really know for sure um, until I actually get my hands on it. Why did that feel so weird for a second there? Did I use my double jump? I don't remember. So I'm just, I'll just keep it simple like that. Um, yeah, the character seems like she has a lot of very powerful tools. The only thing about her that stands out that I don't particularly like is that she has a weird J2H. She's one of those characters like Cell or Beerus or Freezer as a monster. It doesn't have like a traditional J2H. So some combos you kind of have to like jump cancel with her a bit weird. Or you have to, uh, you know, just, just, just uh, do other shit that you would normally do uh, with, with a character like Trunks or 18 or Vegeta or 21 because her, her J2H is not a traditional one. Um, but other than that, yeah, I, I pretty much like everything about her. She's got a barrier assist and a, a, and a personal barrier, just like Android 18. Um, her level three Oki obviously is not as potent as like Majin 21, but her damage seems really high. She's got a bunch of lows, a bunch of OTGs. Well, she's got one OTG that has multiple versions, but yeah, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the character. I'm very much looking forward to her. Um, she could end up being a character like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that I like a lot at first and I play a lot of but then don't stick to um, and then I end up hating uh, uh, having to fight because she's so powerful but only time will tell because um, this is something that not all of you may realize because I guess it doesn't come up a whole lot because I don't play him a whole lot but I actually really like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta um, a lot. I don't play him a lot, but I actually really do like the character. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is one of my favorite characters in all of Dragon Ball, uh, because the Super Saiyan 4 transformation is my favorite transformation, and Gogeta was my favorite fusion for a very long time. Um, I just don't play him a lot, and the re the biggest reason why I don't play him is because I never found a team with him that I liked a lot. Like, nothing just ever felt right, like, nothing ever really clicked. You know, I could play him, and I know that I'm gonna get a bunch of suggestions in the comments, I could play Gogeta Trunks 21, Vegeta Gogeta, trunks all these different combinations right but nothing ever just like clicked and felt like oh this is the team for him you know what i mean um and yeah 21 could end up being a character just like that but i like i said i, I won't know until i actually get to play her for myself um but i'm very much looking forward to it i'll try to do a whole week of dlc like i always do uh with most characters the only character i haven't done that for since i started doing that uh, was Roshi just because I hated him so much I just didn't want to play him. I'll try to get Dotto on the channel for some matches as well. I guess I, I know how much you guys love it when I play with Dotto and you guys kind of expect me to play with him whenever a new character comes out. And maybe I can get some other people on the channel as well. But of course, as you know, 
Um, if you don't already follow the stream, I'll be playing her a lot on stream, uh, as you can expect. Labbing her, figuring out combos, running some casual matches. You expect to see a lot of break matches with her. Um, you, you already know the vibes. You already know what we're going. Oh, the patience. Oh, the tag. I see you. Well, I, I respect the defense and the patience, but I still managed to get the kill in the end. But, um, yeah, I feel like I've been talking super fast in this video, and I apologize if it was a bit hard to understand. I just felt like I had so much I wanted to get through. Um, at the end of the day, I, I do want to just come back and, like, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Um, not clarify, but... I do want you guys to understand, I'm not trying to defend or apologize, uh, I'm not trying to defend or be an apologist for Arxis or Bandai, because they could be doing so much better with this game. Um, this game is great, I love it to death, my favorite game of all time, still my favorite game to play, the game I play every day, uh, the game I love the most, but, um, them not adding in rollback is one thing, because I understand it's difficult, it takes time, money, resources, whatever, I don't know who it is, but somebody up at Bandai will not give it the green light because they don't think it's worth the time or the money or the resource or whatever, but I know that this game has been successful enough, popular enough, and they've made enough money to where it is something that they should be able to do. Um, they have the resources, they've been retroactively implementing rollback into other games like Blaze Blue Cross Tech Battles got the announcement for it, uh, uh, the Blaze Blue Central Fiction got it, um, Strive obviously was built with it in mind, so it has it, um, and you know, it, it is doable, it is, it is possible. Uh, they might not have somebody on the team that developed this game that could do it, but they can definitely find someone that can do it or help them do it and understand how rollback works and everything and like that, but, uh, I don't know, man. Um, also, this is random, but I'm gonna just throw it in here. When it comes to, like, stuff like costumes and shit, um, I've heard before from somebody, uh, you could take this one with a grain of salt. This isn't, like, uh, this isn't, like, hardcore, it is what it is, but, um, I'm pretty sure the reason we don't get more costumes in this game is because Shueisha is a, uh, you know, stubborn Japanese company, right, that um, is very protective of their properties, and they're really big on, like, branding and, like, brand recognition and stuff like that, right? And I think the reason why they don't want all these extra costumes for characters is because they want the iconic and recognizable costumes for the characters, you know what I'm saying? Like, they they don't want Goku in his fucking, in his whiskey because that's not to them, that's, that, that's not their Goku, you know what I mean? They don't want Vegeta in anything other than the uh, the Android Saga outfit because that's his most recognizable and most iconic one, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I guess that just is what it is on that. Again, you can take that with a grain of salt. I don't really have a whole lot of extra information to provide about that, but I think that's the reason why we don't get more costumes because if you think about it logically, there's no reason why we shouldn't be getting costumes and skins in more stages because, oh fuck, they could just be printing money with that, right? But they don't do it. But yeah, it is what it is. Long story short, uh, I, I think this is a good place to wrap up the video. But I have a lot of hope for the future of this game. I don't think it's over yet. I'm going to continue to play the game. And other people can bitch and moan about it. Or say that they're going to drop it. Or they're through with it. And you're entitled to do that. I understand if you feel that way. I don't, excuse me. I don't feel that way. I'm going to continue to play the game that I love. And I'm going to continue to support it. I'm going to try to my best to continue to make my voice heard. And hope that it gets improvements in the future. More updates, more DLC more patches, whatever the case may be, and even if it doesn't, it's still my favorite game, so I'm gonna keep playing it. You know, a game only ever truly dies if you let it die. People have been saying that this game is dead since it came out. Here we are, four years later, still going strong, still one of the most popular games out there. Not the most popular game out there, but still one of the most popular fighting games out there, so. It is what it is. I'm enjoying my time, hopefully you guys are too. I'll be back tomorrow with more ranked matches and everything like that. Continue to do what I do best, and um, yeah. Also, by the way, this is a weird place for me to throw it in, but, if you made it this far to the end of the video, for one, I'd also greatly appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button. You guys know how much it helps me out and how much it means to me. And two, I'm actually starting a playthrough tomorrow on stream, twitch.tv slash Sakura of The World Ends With You. I'm losing my voice from how much I've been talking. The World Ends With You Final Remix, I believe is what it's called. Uh, Final Remix um, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, so if this interests you at all, I've never played The World Ends With You, but I think I'm going to like it a lot. If this interests you at all, be sure to tune into the stream. Um, I don't actually know the exact time of when I'm gonna tune in, so just make sure that you hit the follow button. The link is in the description down below. Have that bell on so you get those notifications. And uh, yeah, hang out, kick it with me, and enjoy. That being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content up when I'm bringing you. With all that being said, that's pretty much off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you swing the bat. Later. <laughs>